Well, hello everyone. Welcome to another very exciting episode right here on the MI Gardener channel. Now, in this episode, we're going to be talking about the importance of pre-moistening your seed starting mix or pre-moistening your soil in general. Now, this is just something that has to be done and I want to stress the importance of it and that's why we're making it an episode all on its own. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, well, yeah, you pre-moisten it. Let's just move on. But there's a lot to talk about with pre-moistening your soil. It does so many things. So the first thing that it does that it makes it so important is it readily accepts water. Especially when seed starting, this is very important. If your seed starting mix does not readily accept water and you plant your seeds in something dry like, like this, very dry, the problem is, is that if it does not accept the water and you already have your seeds in there, you'll see what happens and when it, what happens is uh, it's it's not very water retentive it actually is is water repelling when it's very dry and what will happen is it beads up and runs and when it beads up and runs it washes your soil away and it will wash your seeds away and when you have something like this where it's very important to keep the seeds in place and not very deeper than they are or uh, in, a, in another cell where you need to keep track and you have them labeled, that can happen where it washes them away and all of a sudden a seed that's over here might be over here. And that really adds a lot of confusion to your garden. It adds a lot of confusion, especially when you're growing things like tomatoes and you don't know what is what until you get the fruit. And another thing is that it can sometimes bury your seeds deeper under more soil, which then prevent, which then hurts germination rates. So that is the, the biggest reason is that it's not water accepting. And I have a quick example here to show you um, just the difference between a pre-moistened seed starting mix and one that is not pre-moistened. Come on in close, check this out. All right, so I'm gonna water the pre, or I'm gonna water the pre-moistened one first. You can see what happens. Do you see how the water just instantly soaks in? That's because a pre-moistened mix will readily accept water. The mix is very porous, and the, the porous structure acts almost like a wet sponge. Take a, take a kitchen sponge the next time you have a chance, or a, a kitchen, even, even like a dishcloth, and pre-moisten it. Wring it out so it's just damp, and see how well it accepts water. Then take one that is dry and set it. The thing is a dry sponge will actually float on the water, on the surface of the water, because it does not absorb any moisture at all. Um, it's very much the same way as a dry seed starting mix. Catch this, watch this. You see how it just puddles up? Even when I water gently, just very gently, see how long it takes for that seed starting mix to absorb that water? So look at that, look at the puddling. That puddling, I mean, it's barely watering. I'm barely watering it and it's just puddling up and it's running and once it gets damp then once it gets damp then it's not nearly as bad but it still puddles and washes all that away whereas look at this look how fast that absorbs into the into the seed starting mix there's no puddling at all there's no running and the contrast between this and this is that your seeds are going to stay in one place here whereas your seeds are going to move they're going to float to the surface. They're going to be buried deeper. You have, you have no clue where they're going to be in this type of method. Now, the next thing that is uh, that happens with a non, uh, non pre-moistened mix, a mix that's not pre-moistened, I should say, is that the particles have not yet settled. I cannot tell you how important that is when you're in a fine when you're in a really close quarter seed starting tray like this is having your particles settled before you plant your seeds is important holy smokes is that important so by that what i mean is is here right you're going to have all of your particles pre sorted okay there is all it's it's already damp and it's ready to compact as soon as you press it in as soon as you press this in, your particles are going to compress. When it's dry, it acts like a sponge. And even though you press it down, it's not really compacting. See, check this out. Look at this. When you press it, it acts like a sponge and it bounces back. Take, for instance, the uh, or even the, the one that we kind of pre-moistened. You'll see that it compacts. And you'll see that this 
just really acts like a sponge. So what, what that means is that let's say you let's say you start your seeds in this dry portion here. You plant all your seeds and then you go to and then you go to water. Well what's going to happen is that you put this mix in dry. Okay, you put this mix in dry and when it's dry, there's a lot of air po uh, air pockets created from particles that have not yet been been um, uh, they're not sorted out by particle size. When you compress them in, they're not able to compact as well. And so here, you'll water this, and over time, you'll notice that the soil level gets less and less and less and less. That's because the particles are settling out. And when it settles out, all those really larger air gaps become removed. Whereas something like this, when you pre-moisten your mix, you take your potting mix before you're ready to plant and you pack it in because you can pack it in easier when it's pre-moistened. You're removing all those air gaps so that when you water, the true soil level remains the true soil level. And you might lose a tiny bit over time, but once, you're, once your cells are flush, they're going to remain fairly flush even as the plants grow and even as you water more, the level of the soil will stay the same, which is extremely important because as we talked about before, the soil volume is what matters. Not how much space they have, but how much volume they have. And these here are root trainer cells. And that means they have a lot of volume, even though they don't take up a lot of square footage on this mat here. And that is why we love these so much. But again, it's so critical to pre-moisten your mix so that that can happen. Because if you just went and just kept it dry like this, you might lose about, about maybe a third of your volume just in a dry, just in it being dry and over time, um, dropping due to that, due to that compaction and, uh, and particle, uh, particle sortings. And the third and final reason I want to stress pre-moistening is important is because when you pre-moisten your soil, your soil or your seed starting mix, it has a tendency to blow a lot less. It's actually heavier because it's absorbed all that water. And so what will happen is if you're in a windy day like this and you're outside seed starting, you do not want to be inhaling those particles. A dry seed starting mix will just pick up and blow in the wind. And even sometimes when you're just dumping it on the tray, it'll kind of puff up. You do not want to inhale that. That is very, very bad for your respiratory system. And that those particles will actually act as an abrasive in your lungs. And you'll find that um, certain doctors will actually consider a, a carcinogen because that abrasion is what will cause lung cancer over time or can cause lung cancer over time. And so by by pre uh, by pre moistening your seed starting mix, it's going to make sure that all those really fine particles stay there rather than going airborne. And I think that's a very overlooked uh, component to pre moistening your mix, especially when you're doing a lot of plants like we do. I can't tell you just how much dust is created before we pre-moisten and always stand down, always stand upwind, don't, don't stand downwind, always try to stand upwind of it or find a little kind of enclosed uh, enclosure where the wind is going to be kind of protected. Anything to keep that stuff from going airborne and entering your lungs. Even I've gone as far as wearing a, uh, a particle mask. It looks a little funny, but you know, again, they can, they can laugh at you all they want, but when it saves you from having uh, you know problems and complications later on, um, you you can take that one all the way to the bank. So as always, I hope you all enjoyed. I hope you learned something new. I do hope that you will uh, that you'll just heed my advice on this. I've learned the hard way for sure uh, from not pre uh, pre moistening my mix, and I just can't tell you um, how much of a world of a difference it makes. So. As always, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something new. I hope you'll give this video a thumbs up because it definitely helps us out. And I hope you'll share this video with a friend if you found it informative. As always, this is Luke from the MI Gardener channel reminding you to grow big or go home. I'll catch you all later. See ya. Bye.